What's that like, dude? You're working alongside my heroes, dude. Like our baseball cards, I used to have them. A lot of people watching me from back in the day, they know, you know, baseball cards was the thing, man. And you're, you work with baseball card dudes, you know, like guys we were collecting, you know. Tell me, tell me this. Who's probably your most like outgoing client? You know what? Our clients are handpicked. To be honest okay. with you, you know, we really do the research. And, you know, can we want to make it right? It's about a relationship. You know, we go okay. back to that. You know, and it has yeah. to be where it's a two-way street. It has to be mutual respect. Yeah, uh, we take a lot of time, you know, with my team to be able to see that. So yeah. they're all good at what they do. Some have strengths better than others. Yeah, um, you know, we do marketing deals versus autograph signings pre-COVID. Yeah. Sometimes you could do a lot of endorsements, like when we met with, um, you know, Dr. Lou. Yeah. You know, that was a marketing endorsement that we did. So right on. They're, they're all great. You know, to be honest with you, I can't really say, you know, one's more outgoing than the other because yeah. uh, they're all like chameleons. You know, they're, they're great on the field, but when you get them off the field and the fans get to see the personality, yeah. you know, it's awesome. But for me, I love baseball, you know, and I've been like that since I was a young man. Again, I grew up in La Pointe. I'm yeah. the first one I met, and I'm very proud from being a La Pointe, and That's I right. grew up with that Dodger team. Yeah. Unfortunately, I lost my father at a young age. Sorry and to hear that. I Sorry was, to hear that. Well, you know what? Thank you. I appreciate that. But uh, looking back on that, baseball is what got me through that. Because when you look at baseball, it's such a unique and such a lovely game. Uh, you know, even if you lose today, the sun rises tomorrow. There's another game. Yeah. And you fight, fight, fight. And, you know, we all have that little boy in us. And, you know, little girl in us. Yeah. And when you can go back to that, those times where you're having a hot dog at the game yeah. or, you know, it's Saturday night, the game of the week. I mean, there's nothing like it now that, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, I say pinch me. I don't play the lotto. Yeah. I really don't play the lotto because I look at a lot of my friends and my family and they say, I don't need to play the lotto because yeah. I was blessed and I hit the baseball lotto. So I'm like nice, you. Nice, nice. There's a lot of times. I mean, I have to stay professional. Yeah. But you know, one of my clients is from Cincinnati, um, Big Red Machine, George Foster, 1977 Ooh. National League MVP. Absolutely. Absolutely. I remember him coming into L.A. and, you know, and, he, and George is from Los Angeles. And he yeah, used to come he, in he and handle business. he got signed first with the New York Giants, correct? Uh, when with he the came San Francisco out. Giants. Sa yeah, the San Francisco Giants. Yes. Yeah. And then he got a trade. He went over, got play, started playing some time with Cincinnati. Right. And then Sparky Anderson gave him a j big chance in 1975. <sighs> right. And, you know, the rest is history. Yeah. Man, big red machine. Come on, man. Yeah, we battled them for Come a long, on, man. long time. Johnny they, Benz, Then they won Perez. the series in 75 and 76. Back-to-back championships. George Foster, I hope that you can introduce me to him one day.